Sometimes you just ask for the gods for something to talk about on YouTube because you really don't have much. And then they give you something so great, so glorious, something you didn't know about that your head almost explodes with joy. I'm talking, of course, about <laughs> my new favorite story of probably the fuck. This is probably going to be my favorite story of the entire year. I know it's early in the year to say it, but probably my favorite story of 2024 is Donald Trump is selling Bibles. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You've got to be kidding. They're free. They're free. You can go any place and get a Bible pretty much, I think. I think people give them away. What do you mean a Bible? And I watched this little commercial. You shouldn't be selling Clorox, let alone a Bible, if you're running for government office. That's a... <laughs> what the hell is happening? What is going on? Between old man dementia and this maniac, we have no, we are so screwed this year. I hope you all know that. I hope you all know that this year is going to be, either we're going to be in World War 3, 4, and 5 because of nut job and his bad toupee, or grandpa over there is going to wander into traffic and, you know, we won't, we'll never see him again and a bunch of people are just going to shout and argue, you know, about who will replace him and Oprah will pop up. Suddenly, listen, let me tell you something too. That, that bitch better not pop up now. I'm telling you, you better not, don't, you sit your ozempic ass down. I'm so tired of hearing about her and her weight loss. And she won't mention what drugs she took or what she did. You took ozempic. You took ozempic. You took the shot because you can't control stuffing Twinkies in your mouth. That's what you did. That's what everybody else in Hollywood did. Stop acting like you're high. In Just admit it. Bitches say, yeah, I shot the shit in my fucking stomach and now I'm skinny. I don't have to look any better, but whatever. But he's <laughs> And then he says in the commercials, he's like, it's a really great book. It's probably my favorite book of all time. I have so many of these Bibles. <laughs> like there's a Bible in, you know, this castle. Like there's a Bible in bathroom one, bathroom two, bathroom three. Yeah, I'm sure. Were there Bibles when you were screwing those whores? You know, <laughs> when you had Stormy Daniels over there sucking that little disgusting thing. Was there like a Bible right there? Like, excuse me, Stormy, before we do the dirty, dirty, I have to read a verse from Ellipses, part seven, chapter 100. Thou shall allow me and me only to get a blowjob. Okay, go down, go down. <laughs> you kidding? And then he says, make America pray again. He's selling Bibles. He should just keep doing it. I think we should max this out. He should sell tampons next. Ladies, do you ever not feel so fresh, especially when you're looking at me? Well, guess what? We have Trump tampons. These are the best tampons ever. These tampons can hold up to five gallons of blood. So even if you're like stabbed to death, almost practically outside in these dangerous Biden streets, this tampon, you can just like put it like on your stab wounds and it'll suck all the blood right up. And you'll live, and it'll be miraculous. It'll be I, anything. I, I, I am, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> the Make America Pray Again Bible. I swear to God, <laughs> he's holding a Bible too, like he knows in any minute it's gonna set itself on fire because he's holding it. He's just kind of. It looks like a, it's a very hostage situation type commercial. <laughs> It's my favorite book. It's my favorite book ever. You've never read a book. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. I cannot. Well, I can, but I cannot wait to talk to my brother Ed about this one. I saw a post my brother made the other day talking about migrants that were forcing themselves across the border at some point. Right underneath. I see my brother's name on the Twitter thing. Shoot him. Shoot him. Fuck him. Shoot him. Shoot him in the head. I was like tempted to be like, well, what if they're like children and stuff like that? Who gives a fuck? All the good boys coming over here, spray painting graffiti and giving us bad tacos that give us the shits. Fuck them. Fuck them all. Shoot them. Shoot them. I'll come over here with my Trump truck. So I'm sure he's going to love this one. So I have to see what he says about this. Make America pray again.